questions for DJ Dallas? DJ, uh, Coach Diaz just told us this, this felt like a glimpse of what's coming for this program. What you guys are able to do offensively today. Did it, did it feel like that? Did it feel like you guys couldn't turn the corner at all as an offense today? Oh, yeah, no doubt. It, I mean, it just sucks that, that we don't have that much time with the same guys, you know, because with the seniors that we have leaving, like KJ and Jimmy uh, on our side of the ball. But it, it just sucks that we, we don't have, a, like, more games to play to, to show that we, we've come a long way as an offense. DJ, how different is our team field now as opposed to three or four weeks ago? Uh, I mean, we had a, a meeting and it and it just came down to to who who wants to be here. Um, uh, the standard that we set, we had to keep the standard the standard, and that's what that's what it was. Our our guys, our seniors, and our our leaders on the team came together, and we just we said there's a standard here, and we're not going we're not going to wane for anybody. How much has Jaron grown over the past few weeks to put a performance together like today? Uh. I mean, we, we knew he could do that. We knew he could do that. He uh, he showed that skill asset uh, time and time again this season. Um, Jaren is a guy. He's still young, but he he's playing. He's starting to starting to become a, a old head, as we call it. DJ, the offensive line uh, from the beginning of the year, the transformation they've had, less mistakes, and obviously mm -hmm. being able to block both in the, for the pass and the run. Like, what, what's it been like to, to see those guys kind of come into their own and mature some, somewhat? Uh, shoot, for me, I mean, we're, we're having fun. We're having fun. Like, it was fun. Football's always fun. But uh, the O-line, man, they, they come in day in and day out. They work, and they're probably the hardest working people that go unnoticed, you know? But, shoot, all, my, all, all of my stats or the whole offense starts with the O-line. And man, they, like I said, man, they're they're probably the hardest working group that we have on our team. DJ, how I was asking Maddie Diaz, how nice is it to do it today on Senior Day? You know, pouring rain and and, and homecoming and all that stuff. Last home game of the season. How nice was it to put together this win? Uh, I mean, that's what that's what we practice for. Uh, we practice to win. We don't practice for anything else. Uh, just the simple fact that it was homecoming and senior night it was kind of coincidental, if you want to put it like that. But um, like I said, we practice to win. We don't we don't come to practice just to just to play another game. You know? So, how did uh, Brevin's absence change the offensive game? Uh, when when any of our guys are hurt, you know we feel for those guys. But uh, we have a have a next man up mentality always. And uh, I feel like uh, Michael Irvin, uh, Brian Palindi, and Will Mallory kind of stepped up. And uh, just veteran guys knowing what to do, knowing the offense, and just just stepping in and, and uh, us not missing a, a beat. But we did we did miss Brevin a lot. We did miss Brevin a lot. The, the, the idea of qualifying for a bowl, how mm -hmm. nice is that now, too? Another conference. Oh man, let's go bowling. Let's go bowling. I'm ready. Yeah. I'm ready. Yeah, anywhere you want to go in particular? Shoot. Hopefully the Orange Bowl, but yeah. <laughs> nah, I don't know. I just want to go play football. That's it. Great. Thanks.